We made some progress on this Codafone 222 answering machine. Please watch part one if you haven't done so already. Last week I had a problem with this machine after I thought it needed new tape. Then it wasn't detecting the beginning of the incoming message tape. Now it turns out it did not need new tape. And I also figured out why it wasn't detecting where the tape was. This uses these little gears right here to uh, essentially operate a counter inside the machine. It's an electronic counter. This is probably connected to some kind of a uh, pulse sensor, which the microprocessor uses to determine where the tape is in the transport mechanism. So if we turn this on, we'll go to Auto Record, which is the normal operating position. You'll see it's ready, and it shows that there are calls. That means that the tape is not rewound. If we go to the rewind position, it'll run as long as it wants. But if I move this little gear here to the left, watch the call light right here as I move this little gear. There it is. The machine just detected that it is at the beginning of the tape. And I can rock this back and forth if I move it forward, it says we have calls. Move it back, shuts off. If we go into auto mode, we can do the same thing. Forward, back. And watch the call light right here. Forward, back. So that's our key. All I have to do is, once the tape is physically rewound, set the supply reel in here at that position and the machine knows it's rewound. Pretty simple, now that I've figured it out. Other problem is I still didn't have enough tension on the supply reel, so I added a second layer of foam, and same with the take-up reel. We'll put it back together and see if that makes a difference. The tape is reinstalled. I haven't reinstalled the covers over the reels yet. I want to make sure it's working right before I do. I also ended up spooling the original tape back into the machine. The tape was not the problem that I thought it was originally. It's still not a bad idea to replace it because of how clingy it feels. It may be in early stages of sticky shed syndrome, but I've decided the way this mechanism works that the tape length matters. Not only does the machine have to know where the beginning of the tape is, theoretically it probably needs to know where the end of the tape is because you could fill this machine with messages and, and exhaust the tape. Now I don't think I ever would. That will be a lot of messages. So it's probably not an issue, but if I decide to, to replace this tape again, I will make sure I, that I replace it with the same length of tape, or very close. So right now we'll put the machine in auto record. It shows the tape is rewound. I don't know what's on this tape right now. Um, I may still have some test messages on it. Let's just play it, see what happens for a little bit. Memo test, mem. The number is... Okay, you're hearing the Zoom cell phone being monitored as my call theme. Okay, I'll stop it right there. It's working. I'll put it back together, hook it up to a phone line, and uh, verify its functionality. First I'll record a new announcement. You have to push down and pull back. Hello, you have reached Nelson Ogden. Please leave a message and your telephone number. Let's check it. Hello, you have reached Nelson Ogden. Please leave a message and your telephone number. Sounds pretty good. Now I'll make a test call to it. The answering machine is connected to my home landline, and to test it, I'm going to use my Motorola StarTac cell phone. This is my one and only cell phone. If you are not familiar with this phone, look through my older videos. I did kind of a silly video on this phone, but it is a good cell phone that is still working in, as you can see, February 16th, 2020. This is set up on a prepaid plan through Page Plus, which you'll hear in a minute. Your 
You hear my phone's ring. This is set for a four ring delay. I'm going to walk into the other room and you'll hear my voice through the speaker and the answering machine once the answering machine picks up. First, we have to rewind it, then play. The machine successfully answered my phone call after I realized I needed to set the machine to auto record. And you're now hearing my voice through the answering machine. I'm going to hang up and we'll replay this message and see how it sounds. That wasn't too bad. It's hard to judge the sound quality of a machine like this when I'm calling it from a cell phone. To really hear how it sounds, I need to call it from an other, another landline phone, which maybe I'll do once I get to work tomorrow. But for the time being, I think it'll do just fine. And set it back to auto-record. Now it's ready to receive a call. Thanks for watching.